One of HDR Project 4's most impressive features is the ability to edit selectively. I'm Mahi Raptis, and I'll show you now how the whole thing works. First, you open a bracketing series, just like normal. For now, we won't delve into presets. Let's first check out the Selective Drawing tool, which can be found down here on the right. To start, I'd like to bring out the structure and the stones here in the foreground, and to do so, I'll use the Reduce Details function in this list up here. Let's use the brush. This size is alright. And now we simply run the cursor over the area. As you can see, HDR Projects automatically identifies the edges and only the desired area is affected. At the moment, we are in mask view. When we reduce the mask visibility, we can see the effect very precisely. This is our first application. Now, I want to intensify the color of the sky. For this, I'll make the masks visible again and use the intensifying color tool. Now the challenge is to be careful that the outline of the buildings is not enhanced. The effect should only impact the sky. The white area is the section to be adjusted and as you can easily see, this building is clearly not affected. I have to be careful here on the left, however. We can solve this by moderately increasing the outline recognition. An HDR project automatically detects that there is another building and leaves the structure, so to say, alone. Now we'll increase the brush size some and paint away! See, the edges are left safe and sound. The adjustment only affects the sky. Over here is a critical area between the cranes, which I have to edit separately. But even here, HDR Projects recognizes that the objects are outlined and the cranes are not influenced at all. I can reduce the intensity's overall effect if the sky is a bit too blue for your taste. Great. And now it gets really exciting. I want to bring out the structure of the stone in this part of the building. For that, I'll go to Strengthen Details and then select Ray Filling Mode. Select the brush and then Ray Filling Mode. And watch what happens now. My adjustments are going to be applied to an area where there are no real visible borders. That is, the windows are completely left out of the process. I can completely draw over the windows, but only the area that I actually want to be edited is effective. Cool, huh? So, let's reduce the intensity some. There we go. Now, for this example, I've already significantly brightened the walls and brought out the brickwork. As you can see, HDR Projects treats every part of an image as needed, thanks to selective HDR editing with intelligent outline recognition. Have fun!